Welcome back to my Elm Creek adventure on Farming Simulator 22, day 8, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's the 8th of December. We had a very good day yesterday. It's, I think, a little bit nippy out today. We've got a bit of frost on the ground, which is lovely. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely wonderful. And our money, healthy is not the word. I was going to say we had a good day yesterday. I did a load of the forestry. I think we ended up cutting down quite a few trees. How many did we cut down in the end? Where's the... Uh, trees cut down 15 yeah so I did a few loads of lumber which brought our money up which was great as you also saw I took on that potato harvest the one I said I was going to do on field 57 um, which is this big field here now that had to be taken to Goldcrest Valley so everything came off that field and went into the silo and then hired the train and sent the train off now here's what I did the last potato harvest I did I filled the train up, so 300,000 litres was the maximum the train could carry, and I sent it off. And if you recall, I was left with about 54,000 litres, something like that, of potatoes afterwards, which I went and sold. All very lovely. I think I had about 4,000 litres left. So this time I was curious. I thought, I don't know what it actually requires to complete the contract. So rather than send 300,000 litres, I put 250,000 litres onto the train, and sent that and it came up with contract complete so with the contract complete having sent 250,000 litres I'm wondering where I could drop it down to I think if I get another potato harvest come up at any point I might only send 200,000 and see what happens and if it says it's not complete I can gauge how much more is left to go and here's the beauty of doing that as you saw I got paid 20 it was 20 something thousand on top of all the, the lumber I did yesterday I was up to about 68 69 thousand got paid for the contract and here's the glorious thing potatoes because I only sent 250,000 litres we've got 97,848 litres of potatoes now I harvested late right into the, you know it was dark and you know it took a while um, I know it doesn't take the time, a regular potato harvest, if you were using one harvester, would take days, probably. But we, like I've always said, the game is a microcosm of real life. You know, things are a lot quicker. You can get things done a lot quicker. Now, I know, obviously, to, to remedy that, you would turn the speed up. So you put it on times five or times ten or whatever. So the days would feel like they're running through a, a more reasonable rate for the tasks you're doing. But, you know, finding that balance is, is how, you know, whatever you want to do. So we are sitting on 90 odd grand with 97,000 litres of potatoes that we can sell. A fast food restaurant yesterday was paying 400 and that's come down to 287. We've got 364 but that is falling and 335. I'm going to hold on to them for the time being. We're okay with our money. So here's what we're doing today. If you haven't done your advent calendar for today, December the 8th, don't forget to do it. Um, I did have a couple of comments left a message sent to me regarding the fact that I didn't do an episode on the 6th so what I've done is changed the titles of the videos to day so rather than episode or number um, it's day whatever because like I said I'm following the advent calendar so if the episode says day 8 it's it's the next episode but it's for that date December so because I missed out I know I'm explaining I explained this before um, I missed out December the 6th and if you do it numerically, as in the, the order of episodes, it's logical that you would go through, if you're watching them, and go, well, hang on a minute, 
I've done one through five. Episode six is missing. Seven's there, and now there's eight. They do run consecutively. Um, so even if there's a number missing, just go by the days. I, I, I hope that makes sense. I, it's all a bit weird. Right, we have got more strawberries, and there's another pallet almost ready to be put out. We're not quite there with the full pallet of lettuce yet either. We have got a frosty morning. But what we are doing today is we're turning our attention to the home farm. So, Chris and Angie's farm, we are going to be doing a bit of work for them. Now, I know this, we wouldn't normally be harvesting, I know, in December, um, especially with frost on the ground and this is all a little bit crispy. But as it says, wheat, ready to harvest, so I'm going to lease a combine. Um, we'll talk about that in a moment. And then what I'm going to do is plough the fields, because all three of these need ploughing. Um, if I've got enough money, I might do what I said. I need to do a little bit of landscape around the back of this one. Um, just to tidy up, so we'll have a very small field round behind this. Actually, what I might do is even grass this. We could put some grass... Yeah, you know what? I think we might do that. We could grass it. Now, as far as grassing goes, you do have a couple of options. There is the kind of what I've always referred to as the, the edge grass, which we can paint and put down using the landscaping tool, or there is grass that you plant. The grass you plant is much thicker and, and grows a lot taller. I think I'm going to plant some. So I'll see how much we can get done. I want to plough each one, so I will skip a couple of bits. Normally I kind of do one job way through. We'll harvest this and get this off the field and put it into the silo. We'll plough each one because each one needs ploughing. They do need liming as well, so this may well drop over onto the next episode as well. And then we're going to get them planted with some crop to move forward. A winter crop forward into next year. Um, we won't obviously get to harvest that just yet. But we're doing some prep work for them on the field. Uh, what I can do as well, which is lovely, I'm so glad I can do it. I can repair both my tractors. We've got enough money to do that. There's also no, like I said, I've got the potatoes I can sell. So we can make a bit of that money back. I'll wait for a good price on the potatoes. We'll repair the John Deere as well. We should see an improvement. I don't, I don't know how much of an improvement we will see. Uh, pain condition I'm going to leave. Repair 3,111. That didn't say that, did it? Two thousand eight hundred twenty eight. Is that because we did it ourselves? Fully repaired. I did find when I was doing the forestry when I was going uphill, I know it has to change gear and stuff, it really was struggling a bit. Another thing we can do as well is we'll have a look at the... Um, there's a word for it. The sale items again. We'll, we'll check every day because there might be something we think as we've got a bit... What am I doing? That's the bit for doing the work. Yes, but I need to go here. Yeah, we can have a look. We can see what's available. Uh, right. Repair. Now it says repair 4723. I click on that. 4297. So you know, I'm getting I'm doing it a little bit cheaper. Excellent. That's both of those done. So obviously it's only gonna be a small plow. Uh, as far as contracts go, what is available at the moment? Let's have a look. A lot more cultivating, because again, I've done some more harvesting jobs, so there's more cultivating ones available. Uh, I've got a load more harvesting ones, all the things. Like I say, I got rid of all of the, the um, grain harvest ones. Uh, but there are a few more there. I've taken away the big potato one that was there. There is a sugar wheat one. Those two are fairly small contracts. Dog up out a huge amount, but you never know. You might get some left over. And then we've got some ploughing, and we've got more sowing to be done at some point, but I did want to turn our attention to our fields so what I'm going to do is head down to get the plough but I'm also going to lease the tractor now I want the tractor I've got in the tractor we're going to lease the harvester now after my mod review the other day yesterday no not yesterday day before yesterday whenever it was <laughs> um, and uh, giants dumped all those mods and I was a bit cross about slot counts and and megabyte downloads and that kind of thing. 
the frustrating thing about it is, yes, we've got I've got we've got a load of slots available. Yes, we've got plenty of room in the mod tub at the moment. But that will start to fill up quick, you know, as as more mods start to come out. The frustrating thing is, the harvester, the, the CX32, is the cheapest one available at the moment. Um, the class dominator was it? What was it? 108. The Giants also released the week before. Is a little bit more expensive. So, I know I complained about it. Although, don't get me wrong, I did say it sounded fantastic. I did say it sounded good. Um, that's what we're going to have to we're going to release. <laughs> having having moaned about it. So yes, we're going to do a slightly frosty harvest, which we wouldn't do normally. Uh, we want up there harvesters. TX32 is 55 grand to buy. To lease, it's going to cost us 2,805, which is fine. Um, are we going to make that back off the crops we got off the field at the moment? Probably not. There are there are weeds in amongst it all as well. I think. Um, and then we need the header as well. I'm not going to go with the header trailer. It's only a four meter header, I think, anyway that comes with it. But I just want to get. I mean, we could have just cultivated or ploughed that crop into the ground, but that seemed like a waste. You know, Angie and Chris had obviously planted it, or someone had planted it for them. And, you know, we're not wasting it. Now, do we need to open this one up? Yes, we do. That's what we need to do. So, yeah, a bit of field work, and it's nice to be doing it on our own fields. The other thing, as well, is with the money we've got in the bank now, we'll get all the bits we need to do to do the home farm fields. And like I said, I'm probably going to put grass in that field just to the side because it's a bit too small to put anything else in, I think. We've probably got enough to buy in first of our own fields. And I said about buying the field next door, originally, um, we're at that point. So, you know, Advent Canada for today. Some new gear. Not that we own this, but kind of new-ish out. It does sound good, doesn't it? And, um... Yes, yeah, so I think, should we get, should we do that? Should we buy our first field? We're doing all right. If we get there, do I want the straw spot? I've got nowhere, nowhere to put it. No, I could, I suppose I could. It's not going to leave me a lot, but we could lease a baler and we could do some round bales and stick them in the barn. You never know when they're going to come in handy. And every opportunity you get to do swathing and saying why not so I think we'll do that oh it's so frustrating not having them a side panel it really is annoying uh, a brisk and frosty morning out with the harvester that's everything I mean, it depends where you are in the world. Like I said, um, I know I watch Millennium Farmer a lot and, and uh, Carl the Cornstar and, and uh, Ryan Custer. And I know I've watched Millennium Farmer a couple of years where they've started doing their harvest and they've got snow. They've had snow early and they've tried to get out and get the corn done while it's snowing and the snow on the ground. And, you know, it, it happens. It's not unheard of. Admittedly, that is in November. I'm not worried about that for the moment. <laughs> Since I'm doing this on uh, Chris's field, and it makes more sense. I could have gone up the other way. Uh, so maybe we'll end up doing that. Because I'm also, like I said, very, very conscious of trying to get to 30 to 35 minutes for an episode. So I think maybe what we could do in this one instead then, because uh, I forgot about the swap, is we'll get this harvested and we'll get that put away. I'll buy a new field and I'll get a baler and we'll bale up this stuff. Now I've got a front loader attacher on the front of the styre, but I only leased the, um, the actual front loader arms for doing the forestry, so potentially we could get ourselves a set of those, get ourselves a bale fork, 
advance just there. Although the other trailer we bought, I think I've put that in there. Which one's moved that? And we'll, um, yeah, you know what? I think we'll do that. No plan survives contact with Mr. Sydney. We know that. We haven't really changed Murphy's law to Mississippi P's law because you know, it's going to go wrong. It will. Funny story about that. So <laughs> than that, um, you may or may not be aware, but I'm away with Mississippi and Palm Dog at the moment up in the Lake District, and we are well. Yesterday we had to batten down the hatches because Storm Barra, Storm Barra was blowing through causing carnage and mayhem but the day before that we had gone out for a drive we went up to Honister Pass where the slate mine is we always take a drive up there the views are fantastic it was blowing a gale freezing cold but it was lovely um, and we haven't had a lot of luck with regard to um, punctures and that kind of thing when we've been in the in the past years and I had to have two new rear tyres on the car about three weeks ago, I think, I had those put on. So we drove down out of Honister, out towards Keswick, going along the lanes, minding our own business, very happy. A um, lot of puddles on the road, which means you can't see the potholes. Well, we hit a pothole. And when I say pothole, a pot canyon, I think it was. It was a crevasse. It was ridiculous. The bang on the car was awful. The rear view mirror moved position. My teeth rattled in my head and immediately I thought, oh, the car doesn't feel right. One of the new tyres we put on three weeks ago had exploded, literally just ripped itself to pieces. So myself and Mr. P got out to change the tyre, in the hail, freezing cold, hailing, freezing rain, it was just, it was interesting. Um, so yeah, all good fun. So I want to say about Murphy's Law. <sighs> it's always been. Right, I'm gonna finish this off. I'll see you in a bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the we'll get the baler. It's not gonna be a, a lot of bales, but we'll get the bales picked up off the field. I would like to say with financially in that we are making progress. Um, once this field is complete, we'll buy the field. I think it's that yeah, it's that one just through there, just behind the barn. We'll get that. Actually, I don't know. Be a result as it dropping it. Let's just raise the head up. And shall we check? No, that was no, that wasn't the one I want. That's the one I want. Uh, we are I've lost myself. Here we are. Uh was it field 49? Oh blimey, is that sugar beet? Ugh. How much is that one? 49 grand. That was 56 we could go with that one that's 64 a bit more pricey 49 grand and ah <laughs> and what's it got in it corn hmm now we're looking for growth it's ready to harvest we could just lease ourselves a corn head of the harvest that we've got now you know what? Should we get our first field? That I own anyway. Down to 34 grand, but like I say, we've got all those potatoes to sell. So we'll get a corn header for this, we can get that done. So that'll probably be the next episode, I think, as well. We've got a floor. And this is the thing, I was scratching my head thinking, what am I gonna do? You know, I've done the bits I can do, the contracts. There's a lot of the same that needs to be done contract-wise, but we can do that. I did the forestry, did the toy, uh, sort of toy hunt, and I, thought, I was started thinking, what am I going to do next? And as it's turned out now, just by doing the jobs I did yesterday, and making the money I made, and then buying that field next door, by doing this and the baling, I've still got all the prep work to do on these fields. I need to harvest that field, so all of a sudden we've got a load of work that needs doing. Which is fantastic. 
And as far as progress goes, we've got our own field. We've got a new field. Anyway, I just so we can see them just harvesting. I will. I have moved the trailer out of the barn to one side. I'm wondering, I don't have got enough manoeuvring room actually, I might need to skid to load or something like that. Um, I've leased the front loader and the, I've got a manure fork actually. There's a few different bale options. The bale tines look like they're for square bales. There's a bale grab and there's a round bale prongs. I've never been a big fan of those. Um, it's only going to be straw bales, so I thought, well, I'll try with this. And on the back, I've got the Perting uh, Impress 125F, I think it is. It's the cheapest, smallest round baler we've got at the moment. Like I say, I don't know how many bales we're going to get. It, it's not really, it doesn't matter how many we're going to get. We'll, we'll get what we get, won't we? We'll turn it on. My mirrors seem to be very intermittent. They seem to be working fine a lot of the time, and then every now and again we get a problem. Did I put the thing down? I did. So why is that not moving up? Oh, it is. There we go. Doesn't go at bad speed. Oh, so I don't know where we're we gonna go, you know, as far as fields and are we gonna get livestock? I don't know, I haven't really decided yet, it depends how much money we can make and what we can do. The problem we've got is I'm not gonna make any money from our own crops because I'm running through the advent, at least until we get to, to, to Christmas day, and I could maybe change it, because it's gonna take X amount of months per crop for each one to grow, but well, we're still gonna be in the same month because we're running through December. So none of our own crops will grow. That's why picking up contracts for other people works out all right. Especially if you get anything extra, that's great. But as far as this goes, for straw bales and things like that, there's not really much other choice well, actually, we might get more than I thought we, we would. Let's take that, see that, 4,000. This doesn't have an option for changing the bale size. I thought we were going to get 3,500, but it seems to be 4,500. Is it 5? an automatic drop off so all I've got to do is wait for it to close then we drive forward again and we'll collect them up the thing's catching me out I keep thinking that's going way faster than it should do but no it's fine What we might need to do. Uh, well, no, we don't need to do it yet. So maybe at the end of the episode, we'll grab the trailer and we'll go down to the grain silo or the, um, the railroad silo, and we'll go and sell one load of potatoes. But actually, we're right. I mean, it's not an issue. We'll do that when it becomes an issue. I think that also give a chance for the prices to bounce up a little bit. Certainly no need for a bale trailer. That's for certain. Now my only worry is going to be because with balers you can't unload partial bales. That'd be cool if you could, wouldn't it? Because we're not going to get enough for another 5,000 litre bale, I don't think. Which means we're going to have a load of straw left in the baler. I can't do anything with. Well, I suppose what we could do is if we get to it, we just not knowing. If I take the chance and say, okay, you know what, let's bail it, we might have enough. 
we could get almost there and not have enough. I did think, because I've got the manure fork. Is the manure fork too short? Hmm. What do I do? Do I chance it? Three strips and that. We might get another one, might we? Oh, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. I just thought with the, the fork on the front, maybe I could pick it up loose and we'll just store it in the barn loose. But, we might be alright. Looking at that, we've just done part of the row, we've got a thousand litres. Yeah, we should be good. One over there. Tell you what, it's going to be close, isn't it? Don't do it thick enough. No. Ah. Come on. You're so close. You might do it. You might. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, we'll turn the bait off. Lift the pick up. Now what we can do is... Let's see if the fork... We'll do the straw. That's what we've got left there. You never know when that 200, was it 51? <laughs> Could come in handy. Yeah, I don't think I've got a lot of room for manoeuvring here. It's where you would need a skid seal loader. I don't think I'm going to be able to put that there. Let's get these three in. Might be able to get two. It depends on the weight, actually. I was just thinking, can I get two on the forks? Probably can, but it's whether or not it'll be too much weight. We'd be all right. I can always move around to the barn later on at some point. Not the bells need to be inside. Well, I suppose I could put them in the side bit, couldn't I, after all that? Of course, if it will let me and not say this operation cannot be performed. There we go. Last one can go on top of that. And we are cleared. 
Oh, I didn't put the stuff in the um, silo, did I? Should have done that as well. Lovely. Right, so that field's cleared. Bailed, bales are off. A little bit of straw left over. We've got, I think, just under 4,000 litres of. Yeah. Of wheat that can go into the silo. So that can be going to there. Lovely. And I think that's where I'm going to knock this one on the head. <clears throat> We've got a few bits done, and that's great. We have got our own new field. We'll just have a look. Because in the next episode, we're going to do the ploughing, liming, the bits and bobs that need to do in these fields. Seeding may then move on to the next episode after that. I'm not too sure. We'll release a corn header. Because this field here is mine. I've got my own field. So what we'll do is we'll come and we'll do the corn here. We'll stick that into the silo as well. And then this field will need to be prepped and ready to go again. And we should also have some more strawberries and potentially, I don't know if we'd have, another, we'd have a full lettuce yet or not. 109, if each one of them are 150 litres, I can't remember what they all were now. We might get our first lettuce, in which case we can do a delivery of our, our fruit and veg what we'll do. I don't want to take this back because I need it for doing my corn, but we'll need to go back and we'll release a corn header. So, that's it for today, for December the 8th. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, December the 9th, and we've got a load more home farm jobs to do. hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest if you should choose to do thanks for watching